Welcome to the second half of 4.1.4. This is the one where we're going to use the calculator and we're going to make a few little changes. Okay, so there's a big question today. How do I use the calculator to find the ratio of angles and ratios and angles? And what processes do I use or what process do I use to solve for the triangle? Um, we need to cover a few little basics on the calculator. First, when you're using the calculator, um, make sure that the first thing I want you to do is push this mode button right here. If you look here, my calculator right now says on the third line down that it's in a mode called radian. The measurements that we are going to type in are in degrees, so you need to change that to degrees if it is not already. So move it down, highlight it, press enter, the black box will go to on to it. Then push second and quit to get back to the calculator screen. Now, when we were talking at the end of the previous section, we talked about a new way to name the sides of a triangle. And we said that they will vary a little bit based on which angle you're talking about. For example, if you look just at the purple for a moment, this purple angle, if you're standing right here, then this becomes the opposite because it's a cross, this becomes the adjacent, and this becomes a hypotenuse. Remember, the hypotenuse is always across from the right angle, so that's one that's usually one of the first ones you want to label. If I'm at this angle up here, the opposite is over here. The hypotenuse is still here, and the adjacent. Remember that, think about the purple angle for a moment again. Which two sides does it touch? Hypotenuse and adjacent. Which two sides did the orange angle touch here? the hypotenuse and the adjacent. The opposite is always a cross. Now, we're going to try to get through some of this. Um, on your calculator, two key buttons that you need to look and find. They are right here. One is tangent and the other is tangent with a little minus one. I'm going to tell you right now we're going to be working with the tangent button. Um, because this is in blue, you're going to need to push second and tan minus one, or inverse, to get that. We will um, talk a little bit more about that, hopefully if we have some time at the end. But here's the short of what we're trying to say. You use tangent when you're trying to find some sides, and you're going to use tangent inverse, or tangent minus one, when you're trying to find an angle. Now, when you set up... When you set up your ratios before, remember that on this side we put the change in y over the change in x. Now we're going to put the opposite side's um, measurement over the adjacent side. That's relative to the angle we're, we've chosen. Now we're also going to go to the calculator and it's going to tell us the value to put here over 1. The first question asks us to kind of, well, I'm going to change it a little bit. This is the way we did it in class. And so, remember that in our chart, um, if I said, what is the ratio for 11 degrees? The way on the calculator is I'm going to put tangent, type the angle, press enter, and it gives me 0.1943, a really long number. On our chart, it was 0.2, really close to that. The only difference is that we, we rounded to get that number. Then another number we had was 2 fifths, which is 0.4. That was for 22 degrees. Let's see what that is. Tangent of 22 is 0.404. So basically the calculator has the table built into it. And so we can use that to find some of those measurements rather than using the table. Okay, so let's look at the first question and they gave us this triangle and I'm just going to label it just like I did the other one. If, if I've got the 32 degree angle this becomes the opposite, the hypotenuse and the adjacent. So let's see what its ratio is. The ratio would be the opposite over the adjacent or 5 over 8. 5 over 8 
is 0.625. Okay, now in the calculator, I'm going to put in what's the tangent of 32, and it's going to tell me 0.6248, but that'll round to 0.625. Now, let's do it from the other angle, and if I'm at the other angle, sides are going to be labeled differently. This is going to be the hypotenuse, this is going to be the opposite, and this is going to be the adjacent, the ratio is going to be opposite 8 over the adjacent 5. 8 divided by 5 is what about 1.6. And let's look on the calculator and see if it'll tell me what the tangent of 58 degrees is. 1.60 something, 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 something. So the key here is to notice that when I'm at this angle that I have to use these measurements or I won't, or won't come out equal. If I'm at this angle, if I don't use these labelings, I won't get the right measurement. Now, we're probably going to have a part three on this video, I can tell. But let's look at some of the problems that they asked us to find once... Um, Okay, let's see. Okay, rather than going through again and re-moving it, moving it around, I'm just going to label this from this angle. If I'm standing right here, then I know that this is the hypotenuse, because it's across from the right angle. This is the opposite, and this is the adjacent. Now, let's go ahead and set up our fractions. This one is from the triangle. Remember, it's going to be opposite over adjacent, so it's going to be x over 8. And this is going to be for 38 degrees. So I'm going to put the tangent of 38 degrees in here, and that's 0.7813. And I'm going to round it to four decimal places. 0.7813 over 1. Cross multiply, 1x equals, and I'm just going to say that times 8, and I get 6.2503. So that's my measurement there. Let's, uh, let's look at the next one. Once again, the orientation is a little bit off, but we'll be okay. Let's label it based on this angle here. That's across from it, so it's going to be the opposite. This is across from the right angle, so it's going to be the hypotenuse. The only one left is the adjacent. Now, let's do our two fractions. This is going to be opposite, which is 9, over adjacent, which is x. And I need the ratio for 73 degrees, so I'm going to say the tangent of 73 and ask it what it says. I'm going to go to four decimal places, so 3.2709. 3.2709 over 1. Cross multiply, 9 equals 3.2709 over uh, x. Divide both sides by 3.2709. And I get... 2.7515. So x is about 2.7515. Okay. Now, let's look at this last one. Um, I don't think we'll have time, but we will be able to set it up. And this will be the opposite, the hypotenuse, the adjacent. And we're going to get the ratio is 1 over 1 for 45, or it's just 1. And the ratio on this one is going to be x over 14. And we'll find that x equals 14. Please look into part 3 for the remainder.